Hi, my name is Veronica. Welcome to this exclusive slash awesome amazing video. <laughs> um, I run a website called sensitivesoulspeak.com and I'm here with my friend and mentor Kiana Love of Be Wild Women and we are going to be interviewing her today um, and asking her self-care tips and practices that sensitive people can implement in their daily lives to help them be in their body more. And so this video is for you if you consider yourself a highly sensitive person, if you're an empath, if you're clairvoyant, if you're claircognizant, which means you can uh, pick up what other people are thinking, you can receive messages from the divine or angels or any other beings out there um, through your mind. So, welcome Kiana. Hi, very <laughs> good to be here. Awesome. So, um, why don't we probably start with the most obvious question. Um, why did you choose the name Be Wild Woman? Well, Be Wild Woman for me is, uh, well, I read, um, I think before I read Women Who Run With Wolves and it talked about the wild woman archetype really resonated for me. And before that, it's always nature has been a place of refuge. It's been a place where the world and everyone else didn't understand. It was a place where I could always retreat and, and go to. And the wild woman work has been getting back in touch with the intuitive, sacred feminine. And for me, that's what she's, you know, like for all of us and getting in tune with nature, being able to trust in our feminine nature instead of all the masculine things that were overtaught in this culture. And so it's a women's work of being at home in her body, but also there's other work I do that's a be wild heart work and it's awakening the heart. So it is, it is I um, find that the feminine it comes through all of it. And wild, by wild, I do not mean just the wild on E or wild out there, you know, crazy lion and you go out there and like, freak out. Kind of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, it, wild is the whole spectrum. Wild is a little violet, beautiful little flower. It's a big, huge redwood tree. And yes, of course, it's really, you know, it's a lion, you know, <laughs> all of those things are wild. It's in their, in their own nature, as opposed to what we've said, wild is something bad, as opposed to being in our nature. Okay, awesome. So my second question would be, I've been working with you for a while, and you, I've seen in your monthly events that you talk a lot about wild women as the intuitive feminine. So. Could you elaborate on that a little bit more? Who is Wild Woman? Because I know you channel her uh, pretty frequently. Well, I think of um, her as a sacred divine energy. And uh, my, my belief about deities in general is it is that sacred energy personified. It's a way that we humans can understand something that you know, is way beyond our words. The wild woman is like the avatar, the face, the, the way that we can personally understand this very feminine creative energy that we experience and we see when women are giving birth, when there's springtime in nature, and that part of us that is its own nature. You're not going to tell a plant or a tree not to blossom in the springtime because it is its nature to do so. So it's about getting in touch with that same energy and it is sentient, it, it is a live energy. And so I find that the more I work with it, the more that energy communicates with me. And I found that each of us has that capability to communicate with it and to be able to reconnect and reawaken the energy that, already, that we're already connected to as, as part of everything, because we are all connected whether we like it or not, <laughs> we are all connected. <laughs> so, my next question is, how does one essentially be in their body? Because I know most of us, I mean, I don't know about you, for most of my life, I was one of those floating heads. Mm -hmm. Even though I was like, you know, getting into spiritual principles and learning about law of attraction and learning about um, manifestation, there was still a lot of those a lot of like mental stuff. I didn't really see too many things that talk about being in your body, so. Well, let's start with that I didn't even know I wasn't in my body to begin with. So, you know, I, you know, I wish that what you're doing now was available when I was growing up because I didn't know I was a sensitive. I just knew that, you know, I didn't 
you know, I felt uncomfortable with a lot of people and I, you know, just, uh, I, I was so too sensitive all the time, too emotional, and then I would, on top of it, put this tomboy toughness on top of it. So I, you know, I get that. I had no idea that I wasn't in it, you know, so I went through all the mental routes of things and I went through all the psychological and went through any kind of therapy that I could find, read every book that I could find. But it wasn't until I did the work of connecting with and getting to my body that I had that, whoa, that big aha. So I want to preface it with that, that, you know, it didn't, it was not in my language at all, but it was a visceral experience. You know, before I didn't realize I wasn't in my body before then. But when I did, I, my, one of my teachers, Anadea Judith, with the chakras, when I did the work with, you know, there was a place where I didn't realize I was closing everything in and not so that I wouldn't be here with what was here. There's so many ways that we can either tough up, move out of the energy, all these ways that our body tries to, and our mind says, I'm not going to be there where it's uncomfortable.